Scum VM. It's like the only way you can play this anymore. Here we go. Secret of Monkey Island, here we go. Um, so, eagle eared watchers may have noticed uh, the soundtrack's not quite right. Um, that's because what I've done here is uh, I've, instead of using the special edition that I've got on Steam, because my laptop is stupid and old and it doesn't work, I've uh, extracted the classic game from the special edition so I can run it in Scum VM. Uh, but when you do that, it doesn't bring the music with it, so um, what I've got is a alternate soundtrack where uh, someone called Andrea Boscarino has redone the whole soundtrack in the style of Curse of Monkey Island, so I haven't actually um, heard this soundtrack before, apart from the main theme, where I've kind of just done a test run of whether the sound works on this. Um, and it's really nice. <laughs> so this will be ever so slightly different to what you've heard before, potentially. I'm really liking it so far. Um, I remember not particularly liking the special editions r uh, remasters of the music. I, mean, I always loved the original like MIDI file <laughs> versions. They, I think they always had like more uh, kind of of the right kind of energy to them, whereas the, some of the remasters didn't. So anyway, yeah, um, I've gone for the yeah this version with the verbs, and uh, you, you can have icons instead of text. It's the best way to play it. The nice graphics. Um, I'm playing classic because. Yeah, the the, uh, the music is one reason I don't like the special editions. <laughs> uh, but there's also some of the artwork I'm not that into either. I might go over it again, this play it again one more time, another time with the special edition and just point out the things I don't like. But uh, yeah, I want to play this the classic way, and I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Um, Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Should I try and do the Guybrush impression the whole way through? I don't even know if it's any good. Uh, I've said before though, I th like, uh, Guybrush was originally intended to be English, so he should probably sound like me anyway. He th my voice is probably what he should sound like. Not that... Yeah, Dominic Armata does a great job. Um, so yeah, I, I don't... I'm going to play through this. Um, I was trying try to think what I want to do exactly. Uh, do I want to? I don't want to like speak to every person and go through every dialogue tree. But on the other hand, I don't want to like wait, whack through it as quickly as possible either. So I, I think I'm just gonna go, uh, do what I feel like. Um, yeah. So you got this version where uh, walk to is your default, whereas 
on there's older versions where there's like twelve verbs here and one of them is walk to so you have to select walk to like every time you want to walk which is annoying so it's nice they put that as just default and then you have to choose something and then also if you hover over an item then you can write so this is ho highlighted look at so if I right click then it will look at it so and that th does it for most things so if you hover over a person then it'll probably be talk to other things are normally look at um, doors are usually open or closed depending on whether they are open or closed so um, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get to this. So yeah, open. It's it's just a nice little. If you've never noticed that before, you probably have. If you've never noticed it before, and let's close, open, and click. See, I could talk to Madam Seepgood. I could talk to Cobb. I could talk to the dog. Uh, oh, and then um, Esteban. I want to talk to Esteban. I don't remember what he says. Sorry. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and dark stone mechs. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Here, so what? Where well, can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that could take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That's what we all do. Oh, it's like a clue to solve the puzzle. That's clever. Now, uh, what happened to your eye? Well, I was putting my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That's none of your business. Uh, sorry to bother you. Bye. Oh, okay, so cool. Talking to, right. Talking to him gives you a clue on how to solve your first puzzle. That's nice. This is good game design, because you're like... First time you play, it's like you would talk to all these people, and, like you'll talk to him and get some background on who LeChuck is and so on. You talk to him and get your first clue, you talk to him and get an advert for Loom, and then you talk to the dog who tells you much the same as this guy. Um, I remember playing and like, oh, I want to talk to him, I want to I want to wake up this guy, you know. Uh, I don't think it's a wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Talk to Curtin. Yeah, I'm going to, you obviously want to talk to this guy here too. Oh, he's, he's slow. Okay. Good timing. Go, 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 go! Let's get in then. Alright. Pick up the hunk of meat. Pick up the pot. Uh, walk to door, open door. I think if you close this, you can get a bit more time. So you do the... The, um... Sweet seagull TM away. Three times is usually your safest bet. You can do it on two. But, um, yeah, let's get out of here. I think that's everything I needed. That's the other thing, it's been years since I played this last, so I imagine I'll remember how to solve everything, but I might pick up here and there. What be ye wantin' more? I wanna be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget to wear shot on health because of the whole chuck thing. I couldn't remember how I'm doing the voices, so so no pirates mean no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. No, he was, he was more posh before, wasn't he? Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, alright, but you don't just become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Three trials, three trials. Uh... What three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. Please come to Sandbaggins. And the quest. Sandbaggins is... Gamgee. Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword play, thievery, and our treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. That's just not his voice at all, is it? And then you must drink grog with us. I don't want them all to sound the same, though. All the parts are going to sound the same if I just go, Arr, mate. Should I even bother reading them? I'm going to get fed up with reading them. And
and trying to remember who, what voices I've done for everyone. What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. And uh, you can probably imagine it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. He's Irish now. And stuff this eats right through these mugs and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. Oh, another, another hint for a clue. A clue for a puzzle. She talking to people gets you places. You know, a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swelling pigs. Guybrush went Irish there as well. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swelling pig. Why did the music stop? Oh, is that supposed to be a dramatic effect or something? Oh, is that something to do with my uh, modded version? Uh, I don't need to know all these things. So, they don't give me a clue, do they, for any of this stuff? Uh, I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and we'll tell us how you're doing. So you can come back and report to them every time, but it doesn't help you in any way. I don't know if there's like a canon um, audio meant to do them in, because obviously if you do the thievery first, then you meet, you get your special scene with Elaine. Um, but if you leave it to the last, then you don't get that scene. So I don't know if you're meant to have that scene, if that's canon or what. This is going to go to a cutscene now, isn't it? Yes. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate that chucks ship lies anchored in a river of lava. This is one of the voices I didn't like. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Arr! There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. Oh, he sounds Irish as well. Uh, no, sir. Nothing like it. Uh, sir? I... Uh, it's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, glad to be dead. Uh, you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, oh, yes, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered everyone and me on, on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Ah, yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. A problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. D I don't know why I bothered you with it. I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait. I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. I've only got so many pirate voices. But yeah, uh, Bob was one of the voices I don't think I liked in the remaster. I think they made him a bit too snivelly. Whereas I felt like, you know, he, he was previously, he was a pirate captain. He was in charge and then LeChuck took over. So he should have some sort of presence in himself and not just being, you know, a snivelly sidekick. I did kind of slip into do just doing Barbosa for LeChuck. I'm not sure I could do his actual voice, but they're not that far off anyway. Uh, walk to Archway. Now, here we go. Um, I don't need to talk to you yet, do I? This is a little secret. You can just go through here, and then you come out over here. It's a little shortcut. No, that's not me. Um, there's also these boyos. Do you want I want to go in here for the voodoo lady. Although you don't actually have to talk to the voodoo lady. You can just come in, pick up the chicken and leave and never speak to the voodoo lady. Which makes um, it weird among go into where they talk about like how they had an adventure together. It's like, no, completely missed. But I think you can choose to say, like, oh, I don't remember you or I don't know who you are. Which is sort of the gameplay thing really. Right? Like, just a reminder. But So you can make it work. Do I want to talk to her? Or shall I just leave? I could just leave. So I don't know. I'm not going to play the entire. 
play a game, I think I'm going to do this in like chunks. So, I, what I'll do is, yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. Maybe I'll come back another time. I've not made any progress yet. Uh, do I want to talk to these guys? Talk to the pirates. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats. They are very intelligent creatures. More intelligent than him. These guys, um, a while ago I did a... Um, oh, they're talking about rats careering the ships on the island. Yeah, I think I'm giving up on reading. Uh, I, was, I, was, I made a list of actors who I thought would be good to play, like if they ever did a live-action movie. Um, I couldn't really settle on a guy brush. There isn't. I don't know that there's anyone out there at the moment. Maybe Tom Holland now. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that could work. That could work. He wasn't. He wasn't around when I made. I made the list quite a while ago, and it's like I think everyone's aged out that I wanted. But um, I wanted this guy to be Hank Azaria. Hank Azaria. I don't know how you say his last name, but the guy who does loads of the voices in The Simpsons. Um, this is Paul Rudd, and this is Kyle Gass. Uh, and that, that was, I think that was a nice line up there. Um, excuse me, I must be going. Oh, okay, I can leave a. Did I know you could do that? You could leave a conversation by clicking on the screen. Oh, I didn't finish talking to you anyway. Do you know where I can find a treasure map around here? The guy across the street, I imagine. Want to buy a map, eh? Our oh, maps are top quality, not like the birdcage liners you get from the clown across the street. What do they sell you? They don't sell you anything. They just, you get minutes to a meeting. No, I was just kidding. Yeah. The Malay Island PTA. So are these guys parents or teachers? Or just scalping minutes? Why would you... <laughs> what are they doing? What is the point? Oh, this is good, yeah. Uh, I'll take one of you, give me two pieces of eight. And they agree to it. I love these guys. Just, okay, that's fair. Are you guys pirates? They don't join your crew, though, do they? Like, I wish they could join your crew. This rat scared away the elephant. Yeah, they don't pop up um, post Monkey Island 2. So I'm hoping they make a reappearance in uh, Return when that comes out. What's in the keg? Be nice to see these guys again. Oh, they're hanging out because the uh, unnaturally, yeah, it's the truck and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How do they know? Hmm. Trying to start up a circus, but there's already a circus in town. Do they mean it? Do they mean the rats to get off the elephant, or is that? Uh, I don't know. They're going to start laughing, aren't they? Now you depressed us. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> it's always ten o'clock. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Isn't he? Doesn't he say it's always ten o'clock on this island? Don't know how many times you have to click it. I'm not going to go through it. Um. Oh, we said maybe he says it in escape. It's always ten o'clock. I suppose it stays 10 o'clock, so we can just be in, in this nighttime atmosphere. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. Alright, why am I going this way? Why am I going this way? There's nothing for me here. The shop, I can't get anything in the shop. Can't, the church, nothing happens in the church. I'm getting pushed to pushed. So you can skip that as well. This is uh, so the church is just here for the final final battle. Should I? Yeah, let's do this cutscene. Gone. Hello. Anybody in here? Hello. You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Uh, 
Um, the young and naive guy brush would say this. Did you hear something back in here too? That wasn't his voice at all. What am I doing? No. I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Uh, Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Shefter Fester Shinetop. Shefter, take it from me, this is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. And there's nothing around here, is there? Except the tunnel to Dinky. Walk to street. Um, why have I come here? But I can't get anything from the shop yet. Uh, can I get anything from Otis yet? No. I don't think I can. Oh, now I get the cake off him, don't I? He's already got the cake, he doesn't realise the file's inside it. Okay, I could talk to him. The Governor's Mansion. I'd love to live in a Governor's Mansion. Okay, no, there's nothing to pick up here. I'm not going near them. I don't think I can get past them. Woof. I think if I threw the meat to them, then it like respawns back at the kitchen. Don't know about the herring. Should I try these things? Maybe I should try these things, just to see. I can always go and get another one, it wasn't like hard. They, they will just eat it. They will just eat it. And they still hit me. Okay, good. Fish. They don't. Piranha poodles don't eat fish. Alright, interesting. Oof, chicken, two. Oh, look at chicken. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Oh, now I need more meat. Consign it. What a waste of time. I knew exactly they were just going to eat it and it wasn't funny or anything. Alright, let's talk to Otis. Get the cake. Talk to prison. You gotta get me out of here! Oh, wait, no, he's Spanish. Hey, my Vic. Oh, where's my Spanish voice? Not to mention halitosis. Yuck. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. I'm trying to find where the Spanish. I can't. I don't, I'm not going to attempt the Spanish accent. He didn't need a Spanish accent, he only picked that up in this game. Do they give him a Spanish accent in the special edition? I can't remember. Talk to him again. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. Oh, I've got to get mints to give him, that's right. So I do want to go in here. Well, maybe I can afford them with my two pieces of eight. Ahoy there, fancy pants! Um, that's like a hundred, that's like a hundred. Um, you can fiddle with this and just open this without like seeing what he does. There's like, but apparently there's 250 combinations, so not really worth it. Right, where are? Do I have to talk to him for mints? Do I even get the mints from him? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I could really use a breath mint. Here, you're telling me. Here, take one. Take the whole roll. He charged me. That'd be one piece of eight, yeah. Well, I've got it. What else do you want? And, uh, he, I'm doing the part. Hey, this ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. He's going to have an old man voice. Do we not talk about anything? What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse for now. Oh, why can't I get him to talk to the... Um, do I need the sword before he, he'll go looking for the swordmaster? 
and he won't let me touch that. So I need to go to the circus, get some money. Get some oh, I could go to Otis now. What a friendly chap I am, handing out free mints. Ooh, Grogo Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So have you come to release me? So he's he's now played by Sasha Baron Cohen, doing a Borat. Uh, who, who are you? My name is Otis. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. <laughs> You've got to get me out of here before I completely lose my mind. Can't you see I'm innocent? Why, why are you in jail if you're innocent? But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I, I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. Oh, which is something I'm about to go and do as well, isn't it? What flowers? The yellow Canetian dormy flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Another puzzle clue. So, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook of the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food. Like pork trimmings. Mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What? The rump roast? Is that what I stole? What's so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I've ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's a conspiracy. That Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Festus Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island, TM. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for Sheriff. But he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new Sheriff had something to do with it, and here he is. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Do you mind? We're having a private conversation. Uh, I wonder if this is a clue about what is in here. Maybe you should mind your own business, stranger. I'll decide who's innocent and who's guilty around here. Oh, sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it. Wherever you go on melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Is he Ron Perlman now? Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You you better go before you get us both in trouble. Did he give me the carrot cake? He mentioned the carrot No, I want, I want your carrot cake, please. Look, I, I like visitors and everything, but I don't have much more to say. No, don't leave, because plus my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Why don't you go find someone else to talk to? Because I want your carrot cake. It's not like I'm the only pirate left on the island or anything. But I, wa I want your cake. Oh, do you get... Do I get... No, I can't let you out before you give me the cake. Because Elaine has to be kidnapped first. Please, give me the cake. I told you, I don't have much more to say. Yeah, but he, right, do I have to leave and come back? I told you, I don't have much more to say. Um, would this help your thirst? Ooh, Grogomint. How refreshing. Thanks. 
told you, I don't have much more to say. Right, here we go. Here's my first puzzle I can't remember how to do. Um, how do... Alright, I'll have to come back later. I want that carrot cake. Maybe it just kind of resets. Gosh, I'm already at half an hour. Um, you need money. Alright, better go to the Fettuccine Circus. That's an interesting sound effect. Um, no, I don't want to talk to you. One of the returning characters from, from the, in the new game. Ooh. That's all I need, isn't it? I get in the well, I can't do it. My hand hurts from taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you out there, Sally. What my voice am I? It's like a you know, sir. Raffian. Fop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreants. Toady. Near the well. What's going on? I'm trying to do with Barrier. Um, oh, Indiana Jones reference. Can I borrow a trampoline? Let's go with Indiana Jones. So fast. See, you, there's a once in a lifetime chance to do an amazing death and a death of fine feet. Well, not so death of fine feet, a dangerous feet. Not so dangerous at all, an easy feat. Well, exciting, with the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well known, fabulous flying Petrucini brothers. That's us, my brother Alfredo, and my brother Bill. Sound good? It's good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the car, and we'll shoot you out of it. Quite the safe, actually. So what do you say? Yeah, and how much will you pay me? How about uh, 478 pieces of eight? Can you drive it up? No way. Oh, he just said, oh, okay, I'll have to try that again. That text was super fast. Look at circus tent. I think there's something going on in there. A weasel. A weasel. Ahem. I'll take the 478. Ready to do the cannon trick? Uh, has it gone up since last time? How about uh, 478 pieces of eight? Uh, okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be to be sure. It is safe. We would want you to get hurt. No sorry. Give fish. That's a no helmet. Give chicken. That's a no helmet. That's a no helmet. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. 
is Death on Earth already here, it's done. And this is foreshadowing the puzzle we need later. Now put on your helmet and get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo, echo, echo. It works. I'm so relieved. They kind of slowly saunter over instead of the way they zoomed before. I love this. I don't know. Where's my helmet? And a loom reference. I'm Bobbin. Are, are you my mother? He's all right. Hooray! We are spared on an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here's your money, sir. Just recompense for aiding us. We just need to change the aim a little bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No me. No me. Slacker. Loser. Rafi. Fop. I think this is like the only place I've heard the word fop. No, it's not. It's not true. But whenever I hear the word fop, I think of the Fettuccini brothers. He, no, he doesn't. He won't want to go back in. He refuses to go back now. Those crazy spaghetti brothers are still in there. Um. Oof, Thirty-six. Minutes. Oh, I've got the red herring, so I could. I've got no reason to go this way, though, do I? Until I've got a sword. So let's go buy my business. That's a clever. You, you can go to the lookout, or you can bypass the lookout. Because why would you stop at the lookout? There's no reason to stop at the lookout. Click. No, don't go to the door. Don't go to the door. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, do go to the door because I need the meat. on that because otherwise we'll walk past it and it's a waste of time going back to it really. Walk to the archway. Now I'm going to try Otis again and see if he's willing to talk to me now that I've been elsewhere. Because I need that cake. Oh is it only after you've got into the um, mansion when like Guybrush is like ah I need a file. Maybe that's when you can do it. Okay, pick up. Oh, hi there, Auntie Pants. Pick up a shovel, which I need for treasure huntery. And pick up the sword. And that's it, apart from the credit note in there. And they've got names, haven't they? Like, this Digmaster. And then this is a slash master. Oh, of course it is. And then you can try to walk to the door, but he's like, "Hey, you are uh, you gonna pay for that stuff?" How much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight, and there's no way to haggle it down. 
and it doesn't matter anyway because this is all you need your money for and you need the sword to progress so just buy it oh hello ruby um come back to that without the shovel oh you can press full stop to uh it's hundreds of pieces of eight as well isn't it another would be treasure hunter eh? Oh, 75 is a bit cheaper. I'll take it. Great. It'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Let's see what he says. Now that I have the sword, who can I test it out on? Well, if you're looking for a good fight... You've got the best sword fighter in all the Caribbean, right here on Melee Island. Of course, no one knows where her secret hideout is. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. Oh, you can ring the bell to bring him back as well. Don't touch anything. Oh, so you can't steal anything. It just comes back if you try to steal anything. I might as well do this while I'm here. So you just carefully follow him. Um, yeah, keep going. This I like this puzzle. Just stalking old man. Oh yeah, I do these these kind of puzzles where you like. Like the, the the cook in there as well. Like wait for the cook to go out of the way so you can sneak in. It's, it's, it's quite the sort of things are fun. Or like cause a distraction so you can get in somewhere. Oh, well, I imagine he went that way. The only way you can go. Oh, there we go, storekeeper. He's gone to the fork. This word always. My first time I played it, I was like 10 years old. So I was like, what does it mean, fork? Is, is there like an actual like knife and fork just lying there? Why is that relevant? Get that for later. The plants that got Otis um, in prison, but for some reason no one takes any vengeance on you. Don't need the red ones. The red ones th isn't big enough. I think, like, if you know this well enough, you can just find the Swordmaster yourself by accident. But this is like the quicker way of doing it. I don't know if it's like randomly generated, but you, I think you can just do it. Is that the last one? Does that get us? Ah. And now we know where she is, so we can come back by ourselves whenever we want. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Oh, it's a woman. I can't be a woman. Uh, hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here in business. This kid came into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Well, it's your last baby. Yeah, right. Now scram! And he goes off that way. And, um... I tell you what, I'm almost at 45 minutes, so I'm just going to go and embarrass myself in a sword fight. And, uh... Call it a day, probably, for now. Talk to Swordmaster. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I surely didn't give you. Um, polite? I don't know. I beg your pardon, I must talk to you. I doubt that. Anyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest, you're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day becoming as immoral as they are. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Gee, you're smart. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Huh? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Grade? <laughs> class? 
You, you mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island, TM? Possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean. Without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, uh, I don't know. I see. Obviously, not with your razor-sharp wits. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. I w it would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So, beat it. Oh, well. Uh, there we go. Alright, so that's... Um, so I'm 45 minutes in, and uh, I've met the Swordmaster. I recently watched someone do this um, as a world record run. They beat the entire game in 27, point, uh, 27 minutes 50 seconds. So I'm almost double that. But then I'm, I'm casually playing, and they were doing everything they could to be fast. Like they were doing the uh, full stop to get through um, dialogue, and I guess they knew which buttons to push to get the correct dialogue to come up. Um, there wasn't really much else to it. Uh, they got lucky and the shopkeepers, um, well, they got him to go for a walk. And while he was walking, they were, they were just trying to open the um, safe with by going through the combinations. And they got it on like the eighth go, which is incredible when there's 250 combinations. Uh, and then, yeah, they walked up here without following the um, shopkeeper. Uh, like little, little exploits like that where they just know what they're doing instead of having to go through certain puzzles, which I'm not going to do. Um, I'm going to carry on sort of like this, just kind of enjoying it and talking to people and saying the things I want to say and maybe pulling out a bit of lore here and there. But um, yeah, I'm going to call it there. This is Monkey Dash and I'll see you next time.